Shalom Aleichem. As you see, I'm uh, recording this week's Parsha video from a very, very special place. This week's Parsha is Parsha Yisroi. I think the highlight, or to summarize Yisroi, is his selflessness. And Chazal tell us, the Gemara in heaven says, that until Yisroi came along and said, Baruch Hashem, there was nobody who thanked Hashem. Everybody asked that question, and the beautiful, most beautiful answer is, everybody thanks Hashem for something that happened to you. Yisroi said, Baruch Hashem, for something that happened to somebody else, for the Jews who left Mitzrayim. And this selflessness you see in this week's parsha also, how it, it, he suggests things to Moshe Rabbeinu to, to how to establish a Sanhedrin, how to establish some help for himself. It didn't really affect, make a difference to him. When he sees somebody else that needs help, he's he's here to help. Why am I saying this? Because it it, it, it also summarizes where we are. Where one of the Makrimis Hakdoshes narrates is all cave of Rachel. Now, everybody knows, even though Chazal have two reasons why Rachel is buried here. One is mentioned when she gave away her time with the Yaakov, but the one that everybody knows is the fact that uh, she's, she's, she was put al derech. She was buried not in Mars and Machbela, so when the Yidin need that special help and to have a tefillah, she says, I'm giving away for myself. I know I'd like to be in Mars and Machbela for myself, but for my children, it's better to be more accessible for them, and that's why she's buried here. The selflessness of a Yiddish mama. Now, you give a look over here, you'll see it's very colorful. It's all different, the different, the different types of people I hear. And that's interesting because Rachel was only the mother of two of the Shvatim, Yosef and Binyamin. And not everybody comes from Yosef and Binyamin. Uh, Rachel, however, is a unifier. Klau Yisrael is called Noye Katsoyim Yosef, which, uh, which is, a, uh, uh, Rachel is the mother. So uh, by Rachel also you find this complete selflessness, giving away her, 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 high lofty madrigs to help another person. And she unifies Klau Yisrael. And that's why it says that the tefillahs over here in the scabble the special for those who need the Yeshua and Zarecha Zarecha Yama. It says because Rachel knows what that woman feels like. And the tefillahs are very much in the scabble. So Abish should help that Klau Yisrael's tefillahs should be in the scabble and we should be freed. Rachel Mabakal Bena, which I just thought something. Why is it we talk or refer to her as Mama Rachel? She's not, she's not your mother, she's your bubba. There's a big difference between a mom and a bubba. A bubba sounds very ancient. Our relationship with Rachel is like a mother and a son, a mother and daughter. And, and the Yiddish saying is that one mother could take care of a lot of, ten, of many, many children, but ten children, many, many children, have a harder job taking care of a mother. We have to do our part to make our mother proud of us.